Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Laurel, and if you're not new here, then welcome back. I'm so happy that you are here watching today's video. As you can tell from the title of today's video, I'm going to be talking about winter 2021 to 2022 fashion trends. I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there already talking about the current and upcoming winter fashion trends this season. So I thought I would just chime in and talk about the pieces and the fashion trends that I've been seeing around all over TikTok, all over Instagram. But before we get started, I just want to quickly apologize. I have not been posting for the past four weeks, three to four weeks now. I've honestly have been personally going through something and I just didn't have the motivation. I didn't have the drive to post anything. I could not sit in front of a camera and just put a smile on my face and pretend that everything was okay when deep down I was actually not okay so I needed a break I needed just some time for myself self-care is important and I definitely definitely needed that but now I am back I feel like I am ready to come back to YouTube and ready to put more content out especially since school is coming to an end so be sure to push that post notification button and subscribe to the channel because I'll be posting hopefully two times a week by this winter season so I'm really excited to put out more content for you guys so be sure to subscribe and push that post notification button if you're interested so without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the winter 2022 fashion trend so the first fashion trend that I want to talk about is actually the mini UGG boots now a lot of people are a little iffy about uggs in general but i personally think uggs have always been around every winter season it's a staple for so many people and whether you wear it for fashion or wear it for comfort a lot of people still wear uggs and it's an everyday staple for a lot of them so i wouldn't necessarily say this is a trend like it's gonna go away within next year i think this is like a recurring staple piece for a lot of people it's just that the mini ugg version have been becoming really popular now and a lot of celebrities have been wearing it a lot of influencers have been wearing it and honestly it's the perfect boot for the winter season so it's practical it's comfy it keeps you warm i mean it checks all the boxes for this season so i'm not really mad about this specific winter trend okay another trend that i've been seeing lately are patchwork sweaters and patchwork coats um, i've seen a couple like patchwork fluffy long coats and obviously some patchwork sweaters we've seen patchwork in the past with the denim jeans with i think sweaters as well but i definitely see it making a comeback this time around i believe it was a trend back in 2020 i personally don't remember because i wasn't into the patchwork situation but i definitely have been seeing it around a lot of coats which i think is very unique and interesting i don't think i'll personally be diving into this trend specifically because i feel like it's tacky i'm sorry if you wear it if you wear it completely rock it wear what you want and own it but i personally just don't prefer the patchwork like coats or patchwork sweater trend but i think it is cute some people style it really really nicely and it's all about how you style it it's all about how you make it creative and make it your own so definitely i've been seeing this trend a lot which is really really unique and interesting another winter trend that i've been seeing quite a lot lately kind of started to come up during the late fall trends but it is the clog like slip on comfy shoes they're basically just a closed version of birkenstocks they have you'll see the pictures that i'm showing but they're not the cutest shoe but i know that they are definitely really comfortable i know there's like fur lining in some of them and it's just easy to kind of just slip on and yeah i think it's pretty much just very practical it's not really something you throw on if you're going to a party or like a special event it's not a dressy type of shoe but it is very very comfortable it's very soft and it's very very warm so i think that's why a lot of people have been wearing it and also just like the ugly slip-on dad shoes like and also just like the ugly slip-on shoes have just been trending lately i don't know why and i don't mean to call it ugly it's just like 
the first thing that comes in my mind when I see these shoes. It's just not really interesting, not really much going on. It's just a basic kind of slip-on comfort shoe. This next trend that I absolutely love is the half zip knits. And they're like half zip sweaters and shirts. I just think they're so cute. They are definitely, definitely very, very cozy looking. They just look so comfortable. Love like the oversized versions of the sweaters. They're very slouchy and they just look like they keep you warm. It's not, again, super fashionable. It's not something that, again, it's not super fashionable. It's not like dressy or anything. Although you can make it dressy if you want to. I just personally love this trend because of how comfortable it looks. And I've just been seeing it a lot throughout Instagram and Pinterest and I honestly think it's super cute and just really really cozy again very practical easy to throw on and it can be an everyday outfit okay this next trend that I absolutely love it is matching silk blazer sets I've seen a couple throughout the runway I've seen a couple throughout various websites such as Zara and H&M but I personally love the satin silk set situation. I personally love anything satin and anything blazers. So the two and two combination is just perfection for me. I think it's absolutely stunning. I think it looks so like elegant and chic. You look expensive, especially with the satin and silk like matching blazer situation. Like that is just perfection on its own and I love the different colors that come with these sets like the greens the fuchsias the purples like all of that is just so freaking gorgeous and I love it I don't necessarily think it will keep you 100% warm but I think it would be perfect for holidays it'd be perfect for Christmas dinners or if you're hanging out with friends okay the next trend that I want to talk about are snow gear and specifically moon boots um yeah you can tell from the pictures uh a lot of people can pull this off i personally don't think i can pull it off let's be real i already have big feet and i feel like moon boots just enhance the effect of my big feet so i wouldn't want to draw attention to that anyways but I think it's very unique. It's very, very different and it's cute. I think if you're going like snowboarding or if you're going to like a fun winter activity where you're doing a lot of snow stuff, um, I think it would be really, really cute and adds something to the outfit. I believe it was Delancey. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she's on YouTube where she mentioned like snow gear as a trend. So anything like fluffy hats, those puffy gloves, puffy coats and then of course on top of it the moon boots so everything is just very puffy you look very very warm and protective and it's just a whole a whole look okay this next trend i'm pretty sure everybody is aware of and it is the puffer vest trend i have seen this all throughout instagram tiktok i've seen it through pinterest influencers i've seen it through celebrities it's just been a very very common trend I don't necessarily have one for myself because um, I just personally think it doesn't really provide the proper amount of warmth that I'm looking for like it just kind of hugs my chest area and it's just it's just there as like a, a statement piece I guess but I think it's cute I really really love like the dark brown colors or like a dark green color I think that's really really cute I just don't really see the purpose of it for owning one for myself but I have seen a lot of people style it in different ways with like a light turtleneck or a sweater underneath and I think it's really cute if you're going for like a light kind of coat if you're going out into a climate where it's very very cold I don't think it's gonna provide you the best warmth but if you're just putting it over a sweater and you want something light and something still kind of warm and comfy I think it's really cute. Okay, this next trend is the Henley shirt trend. And I, again, this is very, very like basic and comfortable and I'm sure a lot of us own one. I personally own three of these Henley long sleeve shirts. 
but again they're just a very very basic staple piece it's great for the fall for the winter you can even wear it on late summer nights and early spring mornings or something it's just a very very basic shirt but i've seen it around like, so many different websites and just a lot of influencers and a lot of people on pinterest have been wearing this specific style of shirt where it has like just like three or four buttons down and then it's long sleeve it comes in ribbed it comes in so many different colors again it's just a very nice staple piece for anybody's closet okay another trend that i'm really really into are the big fluffy hats and scarves trend and i'm sure everybody has seen this like specific fluffy fluffy hat trend in the past with rihanna wearing it it was like that really big fluffy bucket hat but I think just fluffy hats in general, like fluffy beanies, those fluffy hats with like the string going down. It's like a winter hat that like covers your ears as well. You'll see in the picture, but I think anything like fluffy in that version with like fur, I think it's just like so glamorous and just looks so like fancy for a winter gear. I definitely, definitely want a fluffy furry bucket hat, like not just your typical teddy lining bucket hat i want one that's like literally like furry and like puffy and just covers my head like half of my head um i think that's really cute and i've seen it in scarves as well like those really fluffy furry scarves and even like fur lined gloves all of these really nice super elegant and glamorous versions of your typical winter gear i think that's gonna be super trendy for this winter season and speaking of scarves i'm pretty sure everybody is aware of this trend but it is the super super oversized chunky scarves this isn't just like a mind-blowing trend that just came up this year this has been a recurring trend every single winter season i'm sure everybody has at least one chunky oversized scarf um i happen to have like three because i love it i love having like a almost blanket size scarf around me it just keeps me super super warm and cozy especially if i'm going to be going out all day and i'm going to be in the cold like it's just best to have a really nice oversized thick scarf but i've seen it in so many different patterns so many different textures like really fluffy ones um and i really really love it i love that everybody is just wearing these chunky oversized scarves i think it's really stylish if you just like throw it over your shoulder wear everything like black and then you just have this super nice patterned plaid scarf oh, i love it it's a staple piece for everybody's closet during the winter season especially if you're from the east coast um you you need a heavy scarf okay it gets really cold okay this next trend again is pretty practical i'm pretty sure we've seen it last year but it is leather long coats with fur trim lining i've seen this i forgot which brand it was i honestly don't remember but it was super popular last year but they were more of like this really bright pastel colored coats and i think obviously in the winter season we're going to be leaning more towards warmer colors darker tones so like that darker green burnt orange red maroons tan brown i just love the look of like these long leather coats with like these very very stylish elegant looking fur trim lining around them it just looks so so nice it looks so put together it's not going to be the coat that's going to keep you super 100 warm especially during like snowstorms but i'm sure if you layer you can make it work i just think it's such a pretty coat and i really want one for myself but honestly i don't even leave the house so i wouldn't have anywhere to use that but i think it's really stylish and i think it's super super cute okay speaking of coats i've also been seeing this type of coat around and i personally asked for one for christmas because i want one for myself but it is an oversized long puffer coat so it's basically just you know if you're used to seeing like the short cropped oversized puffer coats it's basically that but longer and it'll keep you 10 times more warm because it literally will reach like by your ankle i literally want one that's up to my ankle i want it super long to, just to cover me all around throughout winter because i'm telling you guys it gets so so cold like once it hits mid-january 
it's over for all of us. It's gonna be so freezing, but at least you look cute with a nice long puffer coat. And I've seen it in so many different colors and styles. I've also seen it in like a quilted version, which I'm personally not into. I like the typical like puffer style look. Okay, this next thing I wanna mention is velvet, the velvet fabric in general. I've seen it a lot lately with like sweat sets and blazers. I've seen it in pants. I've just been seeing a lot of velvet lately, especially in different colors like maroon and browns. And I love the velvet sweatsuits that I've been seeing around lately. And velvet is nothing new or innovative or anything. Everybody has been wearing velvet every winter season. I just think I've been seeing it a lot lately, this season specifically. And I can't wait to wear a lot more velvet. I love velvet. Okay, the next thing I wanna mention is nothing new again. It's just embroidery or anything sequins or sparkly especially in the holiday season everybody's gonna be all over that but i've literally been seeing sequins and like sparkles all throughout zara and h&m all of their dresses are just like super extravagant with a lot of sequins and embellishments going around and i think it's really really cute it's definitely festive it fits the whole season and the whole vibe and zara actually has like this beautiful blue like sequins like flapper style dress i literally thought it was so stunning and yeah anything sequins this season especially this holiday season is very very trendy and i feel like it's always going to be a recurring trend every winter holiday season because everybody loves a little bit of a sequins and sparkles here and there you know and the last thing i want to mention is actually an accessory and it is the puffy quilted bags um i think these are definitely definitely unique they're like a puffer style bag um, I've seen them in totes, backpacks, literally in every version. I've seen them as makeup bags, as phone cases even. Just like the puffer style have been so, so trendy lately. And I feel like it's one of those trends that's definitely going to die out after some time. But I think for the now, I think it's really cute. It's definitely unique. I've never seen anything like it before, like those puffer style bags. Um, and I feel like they could be waterproof as well, especially if you're like going out somewhere and it's snowy i feel like that type of material would be waterproof but i don't know i personally don't think i'll ever be into this trend but i think it's unique and i've seen a lot of different brands coming up with their own versions of puffer bags and anything puffer so i think it's very cute and definitely very trendy at the moment all right guys that is pretty much all i want to talk about for the winter 2021 2022 fashion trends i hope you guys got some insight on some of the upcoming or current trends that i mentioned and yeah i hope that you guys are wearing and kind of diving in and trying out some of these trendy pieces i've personally already kind of dipped my toe into some of them and i'm very excited to style some of them this upcoming winter season but that pretty much wraps up today's video again i am so sorry i haven't been here but i am back and i'll be posting once a week until probably the week of like christmas where i'll be a lot more free and available to post more so like i said be sure to subscribe like share and push that post notification button so you get notified whenever i do post thank you again for watching today's video i will see you guys next time Bye.